Let's begin seated or kneeling, whatever feels more comfortable for you. If it bothers your knees at all to kneel, you can slide a block underneath your buttocks. And then close your eyes. Draw your awareness inward. The way that we associate with the outside world is through the senses. And there's a practice in yoga called Pratyahara, which is designed to enhance the senses inward. So you could think of it as a way of giving you a break from the constant pull of the senses into the external world, which eventually is draining and fatiguing. So as we shift this and start to enhance the senses inward by developing an inner seeing, an inner listening, the practice of yoga can give us some tremendous peace just by giving a break from that external pull. It's one of the reasons why we feel so good at the end. Now bring your awareness to your breath, listening, watching the breath, tasting the breath. Feeling the sensation of the lungs expanding slowly, six seconds in and six seconds out. And open your eyes, keeping the focus inward. And let's start to do some cat cow movements here from the kneeling position. So from kneeling, draw your tailbone back in space and let your spine go into extension. Roll your heart open, you can look up. And as you exhale, roll the tailbone towards the backs of the knees as you round through your spine. Flip the other way. Exhale. Then come onto the hands and the knees for cat cow. Three rounds. Stretch into downward facing dog. Bend your right knee and reach your left heel down towards the ground. Change, bend the left knee, reach the right heel down towards the ground. Lift both heels up as high as you can into the air. Keeping the heels up, bend the knees down low towards the ground. Lift the knees, lift the heels, lift up as high as you can, stretch heels down. Let's do that two more times, lift heels up high. Bend the knees, lower the knees down low towards the ground. Lift knees, lift heels, lift hips, pull up, stretch heels down. One more, lift up high. Bend knees, lower low. Lift up high. Pull the ribs up, stretch heels down low. Step your feet forward to the front of your mat. With your feet shoulder distance apart, bend the knees, let the head drop. Grab a hold of your elbows and just lean side to side. Gently. 
change the clasp of the elbows. Drop your hands down, roll yourself up. Raise your arms up as you press down through your heel bones, reach through your fingers. Bring your arms down at the side and lift your heels up as high as you can, balancing in between your big toe mound and second toe mound. Lower the heels down as you raise your arms up, press down through the heels, reach up through the fingers. Bring your arms back down as you lift your heels up high, press down in between your big toe mound and second toe mound. Squeeze your legs, pull energy up through the legs as you press down through the big toe mound. Lower the heels down, raise the arms up. Spread your arms and fold forward. Inhale, elongate your spine. Plant your hands, step back, plank position. Hold in your plank. Take your feet shoulder distance apart. Now sink into your shoulder blades and then press your shoulder blades into your hands. Keep that feeling of the shoulder blades reaching, ribs plugged up, squeeze the buttocks to the heels, lean over into the left hand and bring your right hand to your left shoulder. Then change right hand down. Bring the left hand to the right shoulder. Try not to let your hips twist open. Change left hand and change. Keep the squeeze in the legs. Try to keep your ribs in your hips. Change sides, pointing straight down and change sides. Both hands down, bring the legs together, squeeze the legs, keep the reach of the shoulder blades. Then set your knees down onto the ground with your hands under your shoulders and your knees under your hips. Reach your right arm forward. Keep the ribs pulled up, stretch your left leg back and up. Change sides, reach your left arm forward, reach your right leg back. Imagine you had an extra hand to lift your bottom rib cage away from the ground. Firm your buttocks towards your heels, lengthen through your crown and through your right inner foot. Lower the hand, lower the knee, cross the legs, sit back, lie down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest, feel your lower back plant down onto the ground. Curl yourself up. Now with your arms forward, see how far you can reach your legs forward before you feel your lower back start to lift up off the mat. For an extra challenge, you can try reaching your arms back, but keep the lower back flat for this exercise. Hug back in, roll up to seated. We'll revisit that as we warm up through the class, stretch back into downward facing dog. Raise your right leg up behind you, lift up from the inner thigh. Step your foot up by your right thumb. As you inhale, come up onto your fingertips and elongate your spine. As you exhale, stretch your right leg towards straight and let your head drop as your spine drops into flexion. Inhale into the lunge, stretch forward. Exhale, stretch back. Inhale into the lunge. Exhale, stretch back. Last one, inhale into the lunge. Now drive down through your right heel. 
Take your arms forward. Reach your heart away from your hips as you reach through your buttock towards your back heel. Keep your heart reaching forward. Slowly reach your arms back and then lift the hands away from the ground in the back position. Stretch your arms forward again. Lift as high away from the ground as you can. Stretch back. Last one, reach forward, lift up. Plant your left hand down onto the ground and twist, raise your right arm. Bring your right hand down, step back into downward facing dog or add a vinyasa. Raise your left leg up, lift up from the inner thigh. Step your foot up to your thumb. Inhale up onto your fingertips as you lengthen. Exhale, stretch back. Inhale into your length and the lunge, reach the heart. Exhale, stretch back. Inhale into your length. Hold here. Now drive down through the heel. Turn on your strong hip. Lift up your navel. Lift your heart. Reach your arms forward. Reach the arms back behind you. Lift the hands away from the ground. Then reach forward. Turn the thumbs up. Reach. Externally rotate. Reach the arms back, lift away from the ground. Last one here, reach forward, hold here. Plant the hands down onto the, plant the right hand down onto the ground and twist. Take your left arm up. Bring the left hand down, step back, downward facing dog, or out of vinyasa. Look between the hands, step or float to the front of your mat. Inhale into a flat back. Exhale, fold. Now come into Malasan with the hips supported. You could either sit on a, with the buttocks just on the edge of a chair. If you're less flexible, if you're very flexible, you could sit on a tall block. Plant your hands in front of you. Now lift up your navel, lift up your heart. Keep the flat back feeling. You could see that if I plant my hands flat, my back starts to round. But if I stay up on my fingers, I can actually keep the flat back. So maintaining this, let's put the hands behind the back. And just notice how that extra weight of the hands makes the upper back one around. So if you can keep your navel, your heart drawing up. And then maybe you could lean one centimeter deeper. And then upright yourself. Then lean into the stretch. Go as far as you can. And then with your strong legs, press through your feet. Upright yourself. One more time. Lean. Don't let your heart sink. Keep the spine long as you lean. Hold there. Then come back up. Now keeping your chest open, your spine tall, reach the sit bones down, reach the arms up into a V position, externally rotate. Then internally rotate as you take your arms behind you, 
and press the hands back towards the back of your mat. Bend the elbows, slide the hands to the lower back, draw your elbows forward, reach the elbows back, stretch the hands back, press away from the buttocks, then externally rotate, spread your arms out to the side, up and overhead, hands behind your head, keep your chest open. Now roll the elbows forward, press elbows back. Keep your elbows pressed back one more time. Lean forward in between your thighs like you're going to put your ribs right in between your thighs. Go as deep as you can. And then upright yourself. Plant your hands down onto the insides of your feet. Then step your left leg back into a lunge. The hands on the inside of the right leg. Come into your full lunge here. Now spin your back heel down onto the ground. And as you wrap your right outer hip in and under you, take your left arm up. Turn your palm forward and reach the arm over. Plant your left hand down, spin your back heel up, and twist. Take your right arm up. This time, spin onto the outside edges of your feet. Lift your bottom hip. Turn your right palm forward and reach overhead. You can hold here for five breaths or step back into full side plank, your call. Make your way back to downward dog, whichever pose you're in. Then step your left foot up to the outside of your left hand and your right foot. Come as low as you can into Malasana. With your right hand, take your left ankle, spin your belly, and twist open to your left. Raise your left arm. Come back to center, like you're drawing your elbow, left elbow straight down to the ground, and fold and round. Then sit bones down, lift your navel, lift your heart, reach your arm up, and exhale, pull back in. Last one, lift belly, reach up, twist open, and come back to center, hands to prayer. Then plant the hands down, step the right leg back into the lunge, wiggle the left foot forward or the hands back so you're in your full length here. Then spin your back heel down onto the ground, angle the foot in a little bit like you would for a warrior two. Twist open, raise your right arm. Turn your palm forward and reach overhead. Firm the left outer hip in and under you and back towards your back heel as you reach. Then plant your right hand down, spin your back heel up and twist, raise your left arm. Turn onto the outside edges of the feet, lift the bottom hip as you reach your left arm over. You can hold here for five breaths or step your left leg back into full side plank, your call.
Downward facing dog. Upward facing dog. Squeeze the glutes, engage your back muscles, open your chest. Downward facing dog, stretch back. Step your right foot up, then your left foot with your feet shoulder distance apart. Come back into Malasana as best you can. And if your Malasana isn't very deep, remember you can always use the block. And with your left hand, take a hold of your right ankle. Spin your left side lower belly up to your right shoulder. And as your sit bones reach down, lift your heart, raise your arm. Pull the elbow back in and down to the ground as you round, almost like you're doing the thinker. And then turn your belly, reach open again. Reach, reach, reach. Pull back down. Last one. Sit bones reach down as you reach up. Root down to rise. Come back to center. Hands to prayer. Hands to the ground. Step back. Downward facing dog. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Press your left big toe mound down. Raise your right leg up. Inhale. Exhale. Knee to chest. Pull up. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, knee to chest, pull up. Inhale, back up. Exhale, knee to chest, lift. Step your foot up by your thumb. Inhale, come up into crescent. Now bring hands to prayer. Lean your chest out over your knee. You're welcome to just hang out here for five breaths. If your balance is good, you can practice going in and out of warrior three. Let's give it a shot. Lean into your right foot as you raise your back leg. Without your left foot touching the ground, come up to stand, bring knee up and arms up. Hands to prayer, tip back into your three. Come back up, knee up, arms up. Hands to prayer, tip to your three. Come back up. Tip back. Last one. Inhale up. Tip back. Step back into crescent. Now grab a hold of opposite elbows overhead and lift up. Drop your right thigh bone deeper. Pull your right hip back a bit as you roll your left outer hip forward. Unhook your elbows. Notice which elbow our forearm was in front for this round. We'll change it on the other. Reach the arms up. Hands down. Step back. Take a vinyasa. Or just stretch back into down dog. Raise your left leg. Inhale. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come forward. Step your foot. Inhale, come up into crescent. Bring hands to prayer and lean out over your knee. Five breaths here, moving in and out. Come up to stand. 
Balance in Warrior Three. And without your right foot touching, come up to stand, bring the knee up and the arms up. And tip back. Knee up, arms up, tip back, knee up, arms up, tip back, knee up, arms up, tip back. See if you can make yourself parallel to the floor. Step back, crescent lunge. Grab a hold of elbows, other forearm in front. Lift the elbows up overhead. Bend your back knee a bit if needed. Just drop the tailbone down and turn the hips forward. Stretch your arms up, reach up through your fingers. Plant your hands down onto the ground. Step back for a vinyasa. Or just go back into down dog, your call. Now raise your right leg up behind you. Bend your knee, open up your hip. Now internally rotate the thigh and then bring it to your left armpit. Open it up to the side, abduct and externally rotate. Reach back up into bent knee down dog, lift it up. Three-legged bent knee down dog, it's a mouthful. And then internally rotate as you squeeze your buttock, lift up higher. Bring it to your left armpit. Abduct out to the side and externally rotate. Now lift your foot up and lower your shin down. Slide your left knee back until you feel a stretch there in your hip. And as you inhale, lift your heart from your buttocks out of your low back. As you exhale, lower your chest towards the ground. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, lower your chest towards the ground. Two more. Last one. And hold here, maybe lower the chest all the way down or just come onto the elbows. If this bothers your knee at all, then I'm gonna have you upright yourself, come back up onto the hands. If it's still bothering your knee, then lie on your back and do ankle to knee pose instead. And come back up. Stretch back into dog. Raise your left leg. Bend your knee. Open up your thigh and hip. Then close your hip. Lift your knee up high. Internally rotate so your knee swivels in and the foot swivels out. Bring the knee up to your right armpit. Left elbow. Open up. Lift it back up behind you, externally rotated, abducted. Internally rotate, squeeze your buttock, press the knee up higher. Then swivel the knee in, the foot out, into internal rotation of the femur. Knee to right armpit. 
knee to left armpit, lift out to the side higher, then control your foot up towards your hand, slide your right knee back until you feel a stretch. As you inhale, start to open up. Remember, if you already feel it in your knee, you can always just go right onto your back. As you exhale, lower. Come up and down three more times. Then hold the last one, putting your chest on the ground with the arms forward or just coming onto your elbows. Then come back up and lie on your back for Shavasana. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for class today. If you'd like to finish with a five minute guided Shavasana, then you can click this link over here. If you'd like to finish with a five minute silent Shavasana, you can click this link here. Shavasana is the most important part of your practice. So I recommend that you finish with that. I'll see you next time.